All right, folks, you know what time of year it is. It is that time of year, Lent. Lent is here, Lent is coming up close to us. It is literally, it's like this. Okay, honey, it's knocking on the door to your heart. It's like this. Hello? And it's time for you to open that door and to challenge yourself this season. And today, that's what I wanna talk about. I wanna talk about how you can approach Lent in a more meaningful way. And more importantly, how you can use this time to tackle your vices, your addictions, or if you don't have any of that stuff going on, lucky you, honey, okay? But how about, what can you add to your life to make your prayer life more meaningful and to really solidify your belief in your disconnection, your relationship with Jesus Christ? Now, let me tell you something. I love Lent because it's just, it's one of my favorite times of the liturgical calendar. And it's that 40 days and 40 nights that Jesus Christ went into the wilderness to fast and pray before he started his public ministry. And I always make this correlation because 40 is such a huge number in the Bible, right? Back when Moses was leading the Israelites 40 years in the desert, 40 is a big number in the church. And 40 is, that's a lot of fasting. That's a lot of praying, right? And it's right before we embark on the passion of our Lord. And I love this season because it forces us to look inside of ourselves. It forces us to take a step close to God and to say, hey, you know, these are the things that I struggle with. These are the things that I need to fix in my life. These are the things that I need to give up to show that I am 100% with you. I am 100% in you, that you are 100% in me and that these worldly things don't mean anything, that I will leave them behind in order to follow you. Today's gospel actually sums this up so perfectly and it kicks off Lent in an amazing way. And I really want you to go back and read this gospel yourself, pray on it and let it lead you into the season. And the gospel was from Mark chapter eight. Jesus summoned the crowd with his disciples and said to them, whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake and that of the gospel will save it so powerful. This is where Christ tells us, look, this road to following me is going to be hard. It's going to require you to give up stuff. It's going to require you to give up your life. It's going to require you to go against the grain. How many of us are truly ready to go against the grain? But he goes even further and says this next, for whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake and that of the gospel will save it. So very powerful. He continues, what profit is there for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? This is just such an amazing, powerful gospel for you to lead yourself into the Lenten season and to ask yourself, what are you dealing with in your life right now that you know you need to give up, that are vices, that are addictions, that need to get out of the way for you to truly come close to Christ? If there's anything that we know when it comes to sin, sin is nothing but attachments to things, to people, to our carnal emotions. And you really should hold up a mirror and say to yourself, hey, look, what is it that I struggle with most? For some of you, that may be alcohol. That may be recreational drug use. That might be video games. That might be television. It might be a lot of things. It may be your lustfulness. Maybe it could be addictions to pornography or other things. This is the time for you to hold up that mirror and figure out exactly what it is that you need to let go of the sin that you need to just release yourself from. I have an even deeper one. You guys know I talk about fitness all the time here. For some of you fitness nuts, you're obsessed with the scale. You're obsessed with your body. What if you go ahead and look at how you can remove the scale for 40 days and not stand on it? Do you really stick to your fasting and to do the things that are going to bring you closer to God and away from the vanity that has your heart when you're trying to get into the fitness thing? There's so many things that you guys can look at and I want you to take this season deeper. I'm doing the same thing for myself. I started to notice a couple of weeks back that I was going to a lot of events. I had events that I was planning as well and there was a lot of alcohol and wine and champagne and all that stuff involved. And although I'm not a heavy drinker, I often like to have a glass of wine or so when I'm cooking dinner or sitting around the house, editing videos, chilling out. And I tend to just drink a little bit of wine. I'll get a glass and fill it with just a tiny bit. But what I started to notice is that I was keep on pouring. I would have a little bit, nurse that little glass, and then I pour myself another. Before you know it, 
Within about two or three days, I've already gone through a whole bottle of wine by myself. And I started just to feel really icky about it. So I preemptively actually gave up alcohol, but I'm going to go ahead and continue this into Lent and probably for a long time as well, just because I felt like it was getting excessive. What are those little things for you? It doesn't even have to be that big. It could be staying off of social media. It could be to stop shopping for like little trinkets or clothes or the things that you know that you don't need that are impulse buys. It could be giving up television. It could be a number of things. But here's the thing. Lent doesn't only have to be about giving things up, but it could also be about what can you add to your life that gives you spiritual fruit, that gives you spiritual blessings. So this is the perfect opportunity for you to look at your prayer life and how you can go deeper with it. How about setting aside time that you schedule on your day in your planner, 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes to an hour of sitting with Christ, hearing his word, reading his word, praying, doing your rosary and doing the things that are going to help you to increase Christ in your life. These are things that you can look at when it comes to Lent. Lent doesn't only have to be about giving something up, but it can also be about what you can add to your life. Remember, Jesus Christ went 40 days and 40 nights into the desert to fast and pray. So the things that you can add should add to your prayer life and connect you to Him just in the way that He was trying to connect to the Father before embarking on his public ministry. But it's not about me, honey. These are just my thoughts. I wanna go ahead and hear your thoughts as well. So head down to the comments and share with our community. Put it out there for everyone to see and for you to take accountability on this. What are you planning to give up during Lent? And what are you planning to add? That's what, that's what I really want. For those of you especially who are Catholics, who are already on the path, you already do the thing, what can you do more to increase your prayer life? Maybe it's attending mass. Hey, guess what? For some of you, maybe it could be making the decision to receive on your tongue. For my ladies out there, maybe it could be a decision for some of you to start veiling. You know, the liturgical color is purple and the purple veils are coming out. I know that at least they are coming out on my head, okay? So what are some of the things that you think you can add what are you planning on taking away? Share that below in the comments. And by the way, if you are looking to increase Christ in your life this season, go ahead and check out this playlist I have right over here with some amazing prayers that'll help you to get more connected to Christ in a deep way. I'll see you over there. <laughs>